<clears throat> Good morning, just let me put that thing exactly where it was before. Perfect. And what are you doing over there? Nobody's sitting there. Okay, welcome, Miss President. And I also welcome the little owl you brought with you. Who? Yeah, let's talk about something really serious today. I think we all can agree that the situation can't stay as it is. We are going to talk about having animals in the parliament. Let's see what you have to say. Thank you. I just wanted to make you aware of the fact that I'm not an owl. Huh? Mm. No, I mean it. I'm not an owl. I'm a human being with feelings and emotions and stuff. Woohoo! He's not an owl! Yeah! Owls are people too! <laughs> oh, sorry. I'm so, I'm so sorry. I thought you were an owl. I mean, just look at, you know, I ah, know, just go on with the second point today, which is the Nico Samsrod show. Have fun. Hi, in this video I'll be posing two questions. Do politicians really have no idea how regular people live? And is there any way to teach them? The short answer is yes and no. And here is the long answer. Hi, welcome to season two and episode one of the Nico Semsrott show with Nico Semsrott. People complain that politicians are out of touch with reality and after a year in parliament, let me tell you, this is truer than you think. To be honest, I've gotten used to it. Especially when it comes to transportation, life is much simpler with a limousine service. But I haven't completely forgotten what it is like to be an average second-class citizen like you. Because I have had to take the train thousands of times since my first tour as a comedian. And the thousands of delays have traumatized me forever. But even on the darkest of days, there was at least a light at the end of the tunnel in which my train was stuck. This light was... My EU Rail Passenger Rights. Never heard of these? You're not alone. I love this because it's a EU press release about how pointless EU press releases are. Anyways, these rights entitle you to claim a refund if your train is really late. It's pretty cool to have rights, right? Unfortunately, it might be too cool. Because the European Commission in this area led by Adina Valean Oh, never heard of her either? Of course, we're talking about the EU. Meet EU Transport Commissioner Adina Valean from Romania. She's working on limiting your passenger rights and this would include adding a force majeure clause. A force majeure clause would free rail companies of responsibility if their trains are delayed by something beyond their control like a lightning storm or a fully hypothetical pandemic spread by strange animals like bats, pangolins or pigs. Ah, that's a cruel joke for the pigs. But let's put this in terms of someone who's ready for lunch. This means that you must pay for pizza even if you don't get to eat it. Yeah, that's a jaw dropper. Just imagine you order a pizza for delivery. You pay for it and you wait and wait, but the pizza never arrives. Instead, your phone rings. Finally. Hi, I'm sorry. Um, a pangolin ate all our pizzas. Don't worry though, we'll still deliver later this year. Thanks for the money, ciao! But I'm hungry now. I said hungry, 
not hungry. So the point is, as a customer, you shouldn't be given the bill for something you don't get. And whether it's a pizza or a train, you paid for something to arrive on time. If you buy a ticket to arrive in Paris at noon, the product is the arrival in Paris at noon. Maybe you have a very important meeting at two. But with a force majeure clause, your train can arrive at midnight and you might not get a refund if the rail company didn't directly cause the delay. So, what can we do to preserve our pizza passenger rights? Usually, I would say all hope is lost. Forget your rights. Forget the trains. Just stay in bed. But I have found a way to turn our misery into action. It's called co-misery and it means hitting politicians where it really hurts. No, not there. We need to come for their privilege. They have to deal with the same shit as us. Literally. Back in the 19th century, London didn't have a proper sewage system and cholera was killing thousands of people. But for years, the government didn't do anything about it until the smell reached Parliament. All of a sudden, lawmakers realized that not having a sewage system really stinks. And so they finally had one built. European passenger rights came into existence in a similar way. Only there was less poop involved. Let's have another look at European history. The year was 1999 and European Commissioner for Transport, Loyola de Palacio, kept waiting for her plane to take off. Her flights were being repeatedly delayed in Madrid. And while stuck at the airport, she realized that people shouldn't have to pay full price only to be left waiting and arrive late. So she helped get air passenger rights off the ground. Rail passenger rights followed not long after. The lesson is clear. If we want to protect our passenger rights, we need to make sure the people with power depend upon them too. Which means we need Commissioner of Transport Adina Valean to give up the EU's limo service and travel by train instead. If she sees firsthand how passengers could get screwed by a force majeure clause, she'll fight against it next week when the trilogue meets to discuss it. That's why I'm inviting her to ride a mile in my train. I even sent her a ticket. And you can too. Just go to empathytraining.eu, choose your route and the reason why the train will likely be delayed. and send the ticket to Adina Valean via Twitter, Instagram or email. Because the greatest force majeure in the EU is you. The 444 million people living here. And if we act together, we can derail this reform. Okay, I don't know if that's true. Everything will be decided behind closed doors. But at least we won't go down without first pissing off somebody in power. And you know what? No matter how small you may feel, just remember, you can still change the world. You're an inspiration to us all. We produced some cups and some condoms. Always there when things get hard, Nico Semsrott. The Greens Effer Group paid for it because I guess they like the idea of less people on this planet 
for environmental reasons. And in a way, it's double birth control. There's a condom inside and my face on the outside. So if you want to get some of these, just leave a comment and uh, I will choose my favorite three and then you'll get it.